Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make this very cute sandal keychain. So get your materials ready. They are listed at the beginning of the video. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can uh, put them down in the comments below. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the upper part and we'll start with the white yarn. So we'll do a chain 11. So we'll do a single one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, now starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do single crochets all the way across. So we'll have 10 single crochets. So starting from here, we'll do single crochet and single crochet in the next chain. Single crochet. Okay. And we'll continue doing single crochet all the way across. Okay, so when we get to the end, we are going to change to the blue yarn. As you can see, I've already changed to mine. Then we're going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in the second row, we're going to do single crochets all the way across. So we'll have 10 single crochets. So you continue and do single crochet. single crochet and we'll do single crochets all the way to the end so again when we get to the end we are going to do a chain one and turn so now also from the next row, which is the third row, until the sixth row, which is a total of four rows, we are going to continue and do single crochet all the way across in each row for a total of 10 single crochets in each row. So always remember to do a chain one when you get to the end and then turn. So I'll see you when you're done with the sixth row, then we'll start the seventh row together. Okay, so after we're done with row six, this is how our work looks like, as you can see. So I'm just going to do chain one and turn. And now in the seventh row, we're going to start by doing single crochet. And then next, we'll decrease and do single crochet. And we'll repeat that three times. So we'll decrease. Then do single crochet. And we we'll repeat that again, decrease, and single crochet, and then again one more time, decrease, and single crochet. Then we'll do a chain one and turn. So now in the eighth row, we are going to decrease three times. So we'll decrease one, decrease again, two, and decrease again, three. Okay, 
and then we'll do single crochet in the last stitch then chain one and turn now in the ninth row we are going to decrease two times so decrease and decrease again one more time okay and then i'll do chain one and cut off the yarn like that okay so now let's start making the sole and for the sole we are going to make two so as you can see i've already made the first one so i'll just show you how to make one so we are going to make two of this okay okay so for the sole we are going to start by making a chain 14 as you can see i've already made mine so now we're going to start in the second chain from the hook and we are going to do 12 single crochets okay so we'll do single crochet and single crochet okay so 12 single crochet means we'll have uh, one single crochet left here at the end so continue doing single crochets until you have a chain left at the end Okay, so now in the last chain here, we are going to do four single crochets in the same stitch. So we'll do single crochet, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then we'll turn to the other side, and in the other side, we'll do 11 single crochets then we'll increase in the last stitch so we'll continue and do single crochet two three four and we'll continue until we have 11 single crochets okay so after we have 11 single crochets now in the last stitch here at the end we are going to do an increase so we'll increase in the last stitch Okay, so now we have a total of 29 stitches so I'll just place my marker over here before we start the second round so now in the second round we are going to start by increasing okay so we'll increase then we'll do 11 single crochets so single crochet one two three four and continue until you have 11 single crochets okay so after we have 11 single crochets we are going to increase the next four stitches so we're going to increase one and increase two and increase again three and increase four okay and then after that we'll do again 11 single crochets so single crochet one two three four five and continue until you have 11 single 
crochets okay so after the 11th single crochets now in the last two stitches we are going to increase so we'll increase and increase the last stitch so now we have a total of 36 stitches okay so now in the third row which is the last row we're going to start by doing a single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so single crochet one two three and four and then we'll do half double crochet in the next two stitches so half double crochet one and another half double crochet so half double crochet two okay and then we'll do double crochet in the next four stitches so double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three and double crochet four okay and then we'll do half double crochet in the next two stitches so half double crochet one and half double crochet two and then we'll do single crochet then increase and we'll repeat that three times so we'll do single crochet then increase and repeat that again so single crochet and increase and repeat that one more time single crochet and increase Okay, and then in the next stitch we'll do single crochet and then we'll do half double crochet in the next two stitches so we'll do half double crochet one and in the next stitch we'll do another half double crochet and then we'll do three double crochet or double crochet in the next three stitches so double crochet one double crochet two and double crochet three okay and then we'll do half double crochet in the next two stitches so half double crochet one and half double crochet two and then we'll do four single crochet so single crochet one two three and four and then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and single crochet in the next stitch okay so uh in the last two stitches we are not going to work on them we're just going to leave them like that so for the first sole you're just going to slip stitch in the next stitch and cut off the yarn so you'll have something like this okay so make the second sole the same way and then we'll join all the parts together 
Okay, so we're going to join all the parts together using single crochets all the way across. So what you do is you put the two soles together, as you can see, uh, right side up in both sides, like that. And then for the upper part, you're also going to attach it over here. So I used my pin to secure it. So make sure all the sides are adjacent to each other like that okay so when you're making the second sole do not cut off the yarn so you just continue like this okay okay so just make sure all my parts are good like this so we're just going to go into the both stitches in the sole and do a single crochet and we'll continue doing single crochets Okay, so from here, we're going to attach all the parts together. So the upper part and the two soles. So I'm just going to put my, uh, my crochet hook through both of them. And do a single crochet. So again in the next one. And continue doing single crochet in all three of them. Just remove my pin.
okay so that's how our little sandal looks like so to finish up i'm just going to slip stitch and cut off the yarn and then i'll finish up like this i'll just take my yarn over here and come here and pull the yarn through and cut off okay so that's it for the little sandal so now we're going to make this little flower over here okay so for the flower i'm using the orange yarn and i'm going to start by doing a chain three so i'll do chain one two three and then starting from the second chain from the hook i'll do one half double crochet and then i'll do slip stitch and then i'll repeat that five times so again i'll do chain three one two three and then in the second chain from the hook i'll do one half double crochet and slip stitch and repeat that again so chain three one two three then half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and slip stitch so we'll repeat that again two more times until you have five petals okay so when you're done making the five you're just going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn so that's it as you can see that's our little flower so we're just going to attach it over here or the other side as you would like as you can see so I have the two of them like that so mine I'm just going to attach it on this other side like that okay so let's attach it now okay so I've already finished uh, joining all the the flower over here as you can see this is how it looks like the two of them and then I put my chain over here okay so that's it guys for today if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe until next time bye